Today I'm going to try and make another omelette. If you're hearing a roaring sound, that's the air conditioning. It's still in the 80s, though it's a lot cooler than it has been. Seeing as we've got some veggies in a bowl, some green peppers, which look really great on camera, and some white onion. I'm going to use some oil. I'm going to cook them up so that they're nice, and then I'm going to add eggs. I'll show you what I do with the eggs in a bit. Okay, I've got some oil heating in here, and it's just on medium-low because I don't want to overheat the pan, and overheating the pan would be a very bad thing because I don't want those to explode when I put them in here. I will also be using a spatula of some kind, hopefully not one with cat hair all over it because the one I just touched had cat hair all over it. Ew. Uh, mm, that one's a little bird. I guess I'm using this one and probably washing it when I'm done. Here we go. Hopefully this won't explode everywhere. Ah, that is a good hiss. That is a good hiss. Now I'm just going to fry these up until they are decent. I am not left-handed. And when I say decent, I mean that the onions should be wilty and the peppers should be a little more translucent. Wow, that does not like to do that. I'll be right back. All right, now I've got three eggs in here with some cream, that's what the white is, and I'm going to mix them up. And the cat is debating whether or not to bite me on the ankle because she is adorable. And real hellion. Hold on a moment, let me show you. This is trying to bite me. She's pretending she wasn't just trying to bite me. So yes, you want to get this all mixed together so that the milk isn't just on the sides. You can mince milk, cream, water, or just nothing. You don't have to use something. I like to use something, but that's just the way I was raised. Believe it or not, I'm in a sunbeam. It's just really hard to focus this thing. All right. I'm going to put this in here in a moment. Hopefully that's enough oil. If it's not, this is going to be very annoying. <laughs> We have splashdown! Hooray! The eggs are in. They are really cooking a lot faster than I wanted, even though they're on a fairly low temperature. Hey! She bit me. That's right. That bit me. Why? I don't know. Why are you biting me? Stop biting me. Evie. If you're wondering how I got this to look like this, I was tilting the pan and pushing the sides with the spatula. It's not easy to do, it's a pain in the butt, and the eggs are still not cooked in the middle, which means I should probably put a lid on it. But we don't have a lid for this one. What do? Also, that's a lot of oil. Probably should have just used spray. Next time I'll do that. Also, I got a little char on these onions, which I'm fine with. I actually quite like charred onions. Now I flipped the omelet, and as you can see, eggs got everywhere, because I am not a nifty meat cooker. I am a filthy casual. My oily spatula, my oily oil. And that was me moving stuff and bumping a bowl. So. So far, this actually looks pretty darn good. I'm going to really enjoy eating this. You missed me putting mozzarella in the middle. That's just sliced mozzarella cheese that I tore in half and sort of just chucked on there. We'll see if this finishes cooking. It is now on the lowest possible heat. Looks like the mozzarella's cooking, at least. That's what that is over here. Mm-mm-mm charred pepper and onions. 
This is going to be delicious. I've plated my omelette by... Well, I didn't think it would be wise to dump a very oily pan over a cold plate, so I just slipped my delightful omelette on top of my spatula by just shoving the spatula underneath like a brute and lifting it up and out. And unfortunately, I needed my right hand for that, so filming with this hand doesn't work so good. It tends to look like this. So if you see these kinds of shots, you know that it's my left hand. Of all the things that I didn't inherit, of course it's not left-handedness, which would be really useful. So now there's only two things left to do. One is to make people angry. Because if you're going to eat eggs, and you're me, you're probably going to add Ketchup. Is ketchup going to go well with mozzarella and peppers and onions? I don't see why not. I mean, I've done it in fried rice before and it was good. So artistic. And the next thing is to eat it, which I forgot a fork. Through the magic of jump cuts, I now have a fork. So let's just cut into this floppy monstrosity. Mm, looks pretty good to me. Yep, perfectly cooked. Tastes really good. You know what I forgot though? Salt. And, if I can just, hold on, pepper, which I cannot grind one-handed. It's a nice pe pepper grinder, though. And that, my friends, is how you make an omelet with leftover ingredients from a salad. Although, those were for hoagies. Again with the hoagies. And that's all from me today. Go enjoy something.